Yes? Miss Black is here. Miss Black? Miss Eve Black. Tell him I'm all dyked out for him. She's all dressed up for you, very pretty, with flowers in her hair. Miss Eve Black, in person. <laughs> Want to try hypnosis again? You mean keep punting and wait for a fumble? How do you do, Miss Black? Well, both stocks. You going to protect them against me? The way you look this morning, I'm not so sure he'd want me to. Well, say, you look pretty sharp yourself, you know that? She's your patient, Doctor. I'm much too old for that sort of thing. Oh, he's pretty cute sometimes, don't you think? He's a living doll. Will you come in? Maybe I'd like him better than I do you. What's the idea of all this? I wouldn't let her come back. Why not? Well, something's wrong. You think so? Well, she tried to kill herself last night. Something's wrong somewhere. How did she try to kill herself? With a razor blade. See, she's feeling awfully low. And when I got what she had in her mind, it about scared me half to death. But, you know, if somebody didn't stop, I'd be gone too, you know what I mean? Go on. Well, there wasn't anybody else there but me. So when she went in the back room and she locked the door, look. She made one slash and then I got out and I made her drop the blade and I got it and threw it away. It was a close call. You think she meant it? I know she meant it. Been me, I wouldn't have meant it. I might be trying to scare somebody or fool them or something, you know, but I wouldn't go that far, you know what I mean? I understand. But she was really leveling. She really was going to kill herself if I hadn't stopped her. When you said there was something wrong somewhere, did you mean something more than the effort to kill herself? I sure did. What? Now I'm having blackout spells, too. You mean lapses of time when you don't remember what's happened? Uh-huh. Let me tell you, it scares me, too. May I speak to Mrs. White? Of course. Mrs. White? E. Black tells me you were... Uh, very low. Yes, I was. Would you mind going under hypnosis again? If you say so. All right, now relax. Completely. When I count to three, you'll be in a deep hypnotic state. You understand? All right. One, your eyelids are getting heavy, very heavy. Two, relax. Three. Who are you? Hmm? What do you think? I have no idea. Hmm. 
May I ask who you are? I don't know that either. Would you excuse me for a minute? Certainly. How's your heart? Can you take another one? You're kidding. Come on. You remember Dr. Day? How do you do, Doctor? How do you do? Oh, well, then you must be Dr. Uh... Luther. Luther, yes, of course. I should have known. You mean you have heard of me? Yes, through both Eve White and Eve Black. Hmm. Not unfavorably, I trust. <laughs> On the contrary, they think very highly of you, both of them. Are we to understand, uh, this is a little awkward, but uh, are we to understand that you're no longer Mrs. White? No, I'm not. Nor Eve Black? No. Then may I ask, what is your name? I don't know. Well, you do know Mrs. White and Miss Black, don't you? I know them in a way. I don't think I know them very well. Well, you know, they're... Uh, uh, yes, I understand that. It's a pretty bewildering thing, too, isn't it? <laughs> I should say you were well within your rights in so describing the situation. And may I add, it seems to grow no less so with the passage of time. Well, I wish I understood it better. How long? As I say, it's not easy to phrase these questions without sounding like an idiot, but uh, how long have you, uh, well, been around? I don't know, but I don't think it could have been very long. What do you know about Mrs. White? Oh, what about Jane? Jane who? No, I mean for my name, Jane. Well, why Jane? Why not? 